afternoon. And given how dry we have been here in North Alabama in recent weeks, combine that with the winds, any brush fires that develop today, they could get out of control quite quickly. So again, avoid those bonfires, avoid those campfires, and be sure to avoid those controlled burns as well. Now, while we do have relief on the way as we head into the second half of the weekend and into early next week, those winds are going to cause some big problems today if any brush fires do develop. Way 31's Casey Albritton joins us live this morning from Madison County with the latest on how these drought conditions continue to impact North Alabama. Casey. Officials say fires can spread very quickly in dry areas like this cotton field. Take a look at how dry and brittle the leaves are out here. Officials say even a lighter could spark a fire in these areas. Take a look at this map. You can see all of the Tennessee Valley is suffering from some level of dryness. Jackson County has red in it, which means it's in an extreme drought. Parts of Madison, Marshall, Limestone, and Lincoln counties have dark orange, which means they are all under a severe drought. The Alabama Forestry Commission crew says they have been incredibly busy responding to fires in Jackson County. They say they have been expecting one every single day. Take a look at this video of what's left of a fire that happened on Wednesday in Stevenson. Officials say it started after someone was burning garbage. The Forestry Commission says this fire hit multiple cars and two unoccupied homes. Right now, the state is under a fire alert and burn permits are only being issued on a case by case basis. Right now, officials also say you just need to be very careful. Even doing lawn uh, work and using that equipment could spark a fire as well. Reporting live in Madison County, Casey Albert and Way 31 News.